Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another concept which I want to explain you about the params inheriting in the child. So if you want to inherit the params means to the child element, to the child comp, child root. So how we can do this one? So I will try to explain you the scenario so that you will be able, will be able to understand this one. For example, let's say that if you are having a child rooting, so don't uh, think about this child rooting and all those things. I will explain you in the uh, upcoming videos also about the nested routing. Here I want to explain you about the uh, params inheriting. So here I can have a children in such a way that and we will try to implement this entire thing in a signals also. Right now we have implemented this one in a uh, observables. Right now we will try to use it in a signal space. Let's say that we are having slash grocery. Let's say here you will be having a category ID. Okay. And here you will be having something like details. Let's say that we will be having the details and in this one you will be having the grocery ID. So like this you are having. So now when you are trying to open this grocery ID details. So normally if you want to get those details means category ID also if you want to get this means how can we do it. Let's try to understand this one. So now we will be able to get this one. So let's go to the grocery list. I want to, exp I want to change this one all. So here we are having this one all as in uh, what I want to say as in. Uh, observable right so if you want to convert this one as a uh, what i want to do is as a <coughs> signal so then how we can do it so here you can write it something like groceries signal okay is equal to so you can convert it into two signal so you can convert this all to signal you can do it like this that's it so now you can remove entire this one and here so this one has been converted into a grocery signal now you can go into this one and here you can say so groceries signal that's it so now you'll be able to get everything now if you try to see the code for this one so you will be having something like uh, uh, grocery uh, sorry slash groceries slash some category id if you try to see the output you'll be able to see this entire details but this time we are able to get it as in grocery signal so here if you try to see here we are having the grocery signal and this is a read only signal which is having we are having array of three so fine so now we are able to get this signal now let's go to the edit groceries.comparent.ts file so now he, here if you want to get this one as an input means so here you can get it category id is equal to and i can use the input signal of category sorry category id so whichever we are trying to pass this one as a signal and if you want to check this whether we are able to get a signal or not means then you can get it as an ng on in it and i will do cancel.log of um, category signal id plus this dot category id so now we are able to get this signal so now if you see the output for this one so in the console you will be able to see see the character signal id is so dsds whatever the signal i am trying to pass it so here when I am trying to click on this edit, so we need to go to a child routing. Okay, fine. Let's go to the groceries.html and here we don't want this one all. So let's try to remove this one all or otherwise I can remove this one all. So here I want to go to the details. That's it. So now let's try to see. So here we will be able to see slash details slash one, two, three. When I click on this one, so here I need to open the child routing. For that one, what we need to do it is so here I need to implement the route routlet again. Okay, that's it. So now we need to have the implement, you need to import this router outlet also. Router outlet. That's it. Now let's go to the edit grocery. And here in this one, so uh, we will be getting two input signals. One is category ID, that is nothing but input of category ID. Category ID. And we will be able to get a grocery ID grocery id also will be getting that is nothing but a grocery id okay fine so now let's go into the ng on init ng on init sorry ng on init and here you will be having <coughs> uh, something like ng on init okay so here i can have console.log so like a child component this one is a child component i am using it and here i will be having console.log 
this dot category id i want to get the category id and also i want to get the grocery id also okay so that's it now if you try to see the output for this one so you are able to see that when we are getting it as an undefined but here we are having the category but we are getting this one as undefined why because so why we are getting is an undefined is so this this pay this param is coming from the parent so if you want to get the params that you want to get it from the parent also then what you need to do it is so here in our code wherever the things we are having app.config.ts so here you need to provide in another one that is nothing but with router config and here you need to provide an object and in this one you will be having params inherit strategy so that means we need to inherit the params from the parent also params inherit strategy and it will be having always empty only so you need to select the always then you will be able to get the param from the so here you will be able to see the param the category id also we are able to get instead of getting undefined we are able to get the params also so now we are able to get the child one and also the parent one also we are able to get it so now if you want to use it the parent params in the child means you can use it without any problem so now in the edit grocery a component we'll try to convert it into a signal so this one grocery signal this one all we can remove it so i can remove this entire thing okay or otherwise i'll keep it like this so here you'll be having a grocery so you can have it as a signal so now what i want to do it is so i need to call this one right so i need to call this one so i need to so this one you know that this one returns an observable okay we need to convert it into a signal okay i will convert it into a signal so we can use that two signal and here two signal means we need to return the observable so here what i can do it is so i can use something like this dot like this i can use directly fine right so now here the grocery id means nothing but this dot grocery id so this dot grocery id okay so now we are able to get it but the here this one is telling that is used before initialization okay so let's try to check whether we are able to get it or not inject of grocery service so i want to remove this one and here also in the constructor grocery dollar and all those things also i will try to remove this one ng on init uh, let's let it leave like that so fine right so now we have used through signal and we are using it and now what i want to do grocery service is there injected and now let's go to here in this one so we are getting this one as sorry not this one here so we are getting this one as grocery signal so okay let's try to have it as an mm, grocery signal as grocery we can keep it like this let's see whether we can able to out, get the output or not so now we are able to see the same thing and here when i am trying to click on this one so we are not able to get the output so let's go to the angular and we we'll, let's try to see it so we are able to get this one but here we are getting the grocery id and also the this one we are getting it grocery service also we are getting but this one we are getting it is undefined so why because when this one is getting executed so now here what which i want to do edit grocery yeah so when this one is executing this this grocery id is remained as undefined because of that one we are able to get this one as undefined so now in order to so grocery id it will be emitted so it will take some time to be executed so what i need to do so if you try to push it into the two signal so will it work let's try to see it. so grocery signal is equal to here i will try to do it okay so grocery signal and if i here what i will try to do here grocery signal of type uh, signal sorry signal signal of empty let's say i will try to keep it like this sorry is equal to signal of empty i will try to do it like this signal of empty okay so grocery signal did you mean the interface so here i will try to use the same thing as this dot grocery signal i will try to show you the scenario so now here it is saying that id number string undefined is missing the following properties writable signal okay so here we need to something like we need to set it so this one will not be possible so why because so here you know what you need to do dot set of like this it is asking us to save it okay so but this one you are getting an error there why because so it is not assignable something like that to parameter string or something like that it is saying so we are getting the errors for this one okay or otherwise we can say it as any let's try to take it as an any so now let's try to see it so now if i see the output for this one let's see the output for this one 
so if i click on this apples so now here in our here so we are getting still getting it as an empty only signal signal of empty we are getting signal signal of empty so grocery signal we are not able to get it okay so here so we are able to get this one as problem so we cannot use it like this so how the correct way how we can use it is so here only we need to use in such a way that first of all we know that grocery id is an so here you can convert into first you i want to convert into signal so first one the grocery id is a signal first of all what i can do it is i want to convert it into two observable which one mm, this dot grocery id so i will convert it observable and i will try to do the pipe map and switch map i will use the switch map and in this one i will get i know that i will get the id and in this one i will do this dot grocery service dot get grocery by id and i will pass the plus id that's it and here what i will do here i will return this one so here i will return this one so here i think i need to do it like this i think so that's it so now what i have did it here so what is the problem for this one yeah so now what i have did it so grocery signal we got it so i am converting it into a signal first i am converting it into an observable then i am trying to do like this like this so if you want whatever you want you can do it so now we have converted into this one so now if you try to see the output for this one see now we will be able to see the edit apples now if you check here in this one also you will be able to see a read only signal and we are able to see the value now whenever i change the data so you will be able to see the output so now here you will be able to see the output without any problem so now entire thing we have converted into a signals and we are we are uh, we are doing this one in an entirely signal based thing so this is how you can use the signal thing and also observable thing either way is okay but we have learned the signals concept in angular 8 in the previous videos so that's why i try to i want to explain you how we can implement the same concept using the signals that's it guys about this one hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you